USC and Utah play in the Pac-12 title game, and this is a sold-out game at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Uh, it's 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox. I got to tell you, the total here, 67 points. I mean, this thing got in the 80s the last time. It was 43-42 to 42 when these two met uh, just earlier this season. USC is a three-point favorite here, and let's go ahead and pull it up on your screen so that you can see what we're looking at here. This is the stats over the last five weeks, okay? Now, I understand Utah's strength of schedule a little bit different than what USC has been dealing with, but what I'm looking at is this defense uh, PPA per drive for USC, number 121 in the country. At Notre Dame had not been able to throw the football on anybody, and they were able to do whatever they wanted to on USC. Now, part of the problem that Notre Dame had was the fact that they had a bunch of guys in the back seven on defense that ended up being injured, and they had to put up freshmen against some of those uh, ridiculous wide receivers. I think Utah is going to be able to uh, match up uh, from a cornerback perspective much better against those wide receivers. So Caleb Williams is still going to have to make things happen, and I'm sure that he will. Uh, but here's here's what we've got. Uh, Utah is number 17 in PPA margin, and USC number 26. So, again, USC number one in PPA per drive on offense. Well, Utah's defense is number 19. They have started to develop significantly better than they were at the beginning of the season. This is a, a pretty young defense. They are trying to fit the pieces in uh, the best they can. Look at this PPA per pass on defense for Utah. Number 17 PPA per pass. Uh, USC is number three on offense. Uh, passing success rate, USC number 13. Utah's defense is number eight. Like, and, and the ridiculous thing about this is the fact that Utah is defending uh, over 63% passes. Whenever they are on the field, people are throwing the ball 63% of the time, and a lot of the times it's because they are behind and they're trying to get caught up, right? But even still, that is a ridiculous number for them to be as good as they have been. Havoc rate allowed, um, USC's offense number two, so that offensive line doing really, really good things, uh, but Utah number 15. So if there's any kind of a breakdown in assignment for USC, uh, they're not going to be able to stop Utah from getting back there. Like passing downs, PPA, et cetera. Like this is all, this is all stuff that Utah is going to be able to match up with pretty, pretty well. Um, coming over to the other side of the ball, though, hey, you see all this red. Like, green is good, red is bad here. Um, USC's defense, number 114 PPA per pass allowed. Uh, Utah's offense, only number 96 right now, but they're number 42 in passing success rate. You look at the rushing. I mean, it is just mind-blowing to look at this. Um, number 115 PPA per rush is USC, and as far as a PPA per rush allowed. Uh, Utah is number 9 on offense. They are number 5 in rushing success rate on offense is Utah. Uh, rushing success rate allowed for USC's defense Number 128. The The biggest thing here to me is USC is still number one in the country in turnover margin. They are plus 1.8 per game. They don't give the ball away, and they are number three in the country in takeaway. Like, that is absolutely mind-blowing. And Like, if you really pay attention to what they're doing, uh, it is crazy. But on the other side, Utah, number 18 in takeaways per game, and they are only number 44 in giveaways per game. So, they don't turn it over all that much. They're number 27 in turnover margin. Uh, this is not a huge discrepancy here. I mean, you start looking at things like net points per drive. Well, USC is number eight and Utah is number nine. Uh, you start looking at points per play margin. USC is number nine and Utah is number 14. Like it, this is, this sets up really, really well for a possible upset here, especially considering that Utah has already beaten them. Yes, it was at home. Yes, it was an emotionally charged environment, as I believe Boo Corrigan said on one of those CFP shows. But look, sometimes the truth is just this. Uh, Utah is a really good football team. So anything is possible in this game. I'm going to take Utah plus the three if you're giving me that. Uh, I know that my number says that USC is favored by one and a half. Well, yeah. That's that makes sense. That's within the number. So it it's on, it's sitting on a key number here. Caleb Williams is absolutely ridiculous. I understand that, but I think the Cam Rising is too. Uh, I think anything could happen in this game. Might as well give me Utah here. So I, I will take the Utes plus the three on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.